In this example, we want to calculate the pH of a buffer and we generate this buffer by mixing a certain volume of the weak acid with a given concentration. We mix that with a certain volume of the conjugate base, which also has a certain uh, concentration. And we want to find out what is the pH of the resulting buffer with a given pKa. So, first of all, let's write down the henderson hasselbalch equation. pH equals pKa minus the logarithm to the base 10 of the acid concentration divided by the base concentration. Now, the big problem is that we don't have the acid nor the base concentration and we have to calculate them. So, we know that concentration is just simply the number of moles in a given volume. And we can calculate the volume and the volume of our resulting buffer is just simply the volume of the acid that we mix. So, volume acid plus the volume of the base. And uh, we can easily calculate that. So, that is 288.5 milliliter plus 415.5 milliliter and that gives us 704 milliliter. So that's our volume, uh, the total volume that we have at the end when we mix these two compounds together. So now we need to calculate the number of moles, and I write it like that, number of moles in that we have in the acid. And we can very easily calculate that. Um, we can use uh, an equation or we can use dimensional analysis. And uh, what we need to calculate would be 288.5 times 10 to the minus 3 liters times the concentration of the acid. So that would be 132.7 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter. And that would give us for the acid, if we put that into a calculator, this would give us 0 0.03 to 8 mole. So that is the number of moles for the acid. We can do the same thing for the base. We calculate the moles of the base that we have. So again, we multiply the volume. So 415.5 times 10 to the minus 3 liter times the concentration and that is 890.7 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter. Again we see the liters cancel out and we've got mole left and this would give us, and if we put that into a calculator, roughly 0.37 009 mole. So we can already see we have far more base than we have acid and therefore we can already predict that our pH, the pH must be larger than the pKa because we've got more acid than we've got We've got more base than we have acid, and that makes the pH go up. So what we can do now is we can, we have calculated the mole, we've calculated the volume, 
And now we can put that into our Henderson Hasselbalch equation. So pH equals pKa. And for the pKa, we had 8.25 minus log to the base of 10. Now, what do we get for the acid concentration? For the acid concentration, we had 0 0.0328. Eight mole per the total volume and that was 704 milliliter 704 milliliter that was our acid concentration now the base concentration is 0 0.3700 9 mole also in a volume of 704 milliliter. Actually, what we see is that the volume cancels out. So we don't really need the volume. We can just as well can calculate this with the moles. And if we put that into a calculator, we get a pH of 9.24, roughly 9.24. I think it is 9.35 it is something like that so it's approximately 9.24 rounded to two decimal points and again we can do the quick reality check we said that the pH must be larger than the pKa because we have a higher number of moles a higher concentration of the base than the acid which makes the pH higher than the pKa. And our pKa was 8.25 and 9.24 definitely is higher. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.